So I'm going to walk you through my labs. Uh, there was a carnivore doctor that said he wished more people in the keto carnivore space shared their labs. So I'm going to share my labs. Uh, obviously, I have certain issues. If you're not familiar with my background, um, I've been eating a carnivore diet for about six years, uh, pretty strictly. Uh, prior to that, you know, I was eating a ketogenic diet for another dozen years before that. So all told, I've been eating this keto and carnivore lifestyle for about 18 years. Um, no cheats. We never, Maria and I never eat any grains or sugar or any junk. Uh, we're completely on track. We don't ever deviate. And so this is a good example of what it looks like. Uh, at least for my labs, for 18 years of doing this. Um, so here's a first set of labs that we're going to look at. You're going to see, uh, first of all, you know, bun creatinine ratio. Yeah, it's high because I eat a lot of protein. And guess what? Your kidneys, they get bigger and stronger when you eat enough or eat uh, prioritized protein. So not concerned about that at all. Everything else here is fairly standard. I mean, glucose was 93, which is fine. Uh, fasting glucose. Uh, if we come down here, you're going to see cholesterol. My total cholesterol was 181. My triglycerides are 57. My HDL is 64. Um, so that's what the one of the most recent labs here of my cholesterol levels. Uh, you're going to scroll down now and we're going to take a look at the next page. You're gonna start seeing some things that are off a bit, like hemoglobin. I've always been a little bit anemic since I've got Lyme disease, um, and it shows up on some of these different counts here. Uh, and you know, there's definitely some things going on in my body that I'm not happy with, and that's why I'm working uh, on improving uh, a lot of things. And one of them is heavy metals. And you see down here, uh, my arsenic level was really high. Um, 25. Aluminum was a little bit elevated and mercury was also really high. And so that's one of the things I've been working on is improving my heavy metals. Um, trying to reduce the heavy metals in my body. You know, with, with Lyme disease and then the subsequent uh, issues that come from it, in my case, uh, I, I developed SIRS, chronic inflammatory response syndrome from the chronic Lyme disease which then triggered my autoimmune reaction, uh, which I now have ankylosing spondylitis. Um, and so when you're in that in, inflamed state uh, and your body's constantly fighting, um, you know, things that it can normally take care of, like heavy, heavy metals and, and mold and these issues build up in the body. And this just shows, uh, I, this was uh, a year and a half or so ago, I think this was, and I still had some really high heavy metals I had to deal with, so I had to go and uh, start dealing with those and you'll see in a minute where I'm at with that but uh, aloha friends one of my very favorite things to do is go camping and I love camping in Devil's Lake Wisconsin if you've ever been here give a shout out it's amazing I already ran around the lake this morning and now we're on a family hike around the lake and to keep my energy up I always pack element with me all you have to do is throw it into a bottle of water and shake it up it's a natural Gatorade without sugar and if you want to get a free sample with your order they are so generous if you go to drinkelement.com slash keto Maria you can get a free sample with your order and it's really good uh, we love the raspberry we love the orange the watermelons good they're all good and even the chocolate it makes a great hot chocolate after a long hike around a campfire. So check it out, drinkelement.com slash Keto Maria. Let's uh, jump over to my next set of labs here. This one, um, this was when I had an NMR lipo profile done. You'll see, uh, you know, trigs are decent. Total cholesterol 199, uh, HDLP 33. Uh, L small LDLP was just a little high. Um, and LDL size was just on the border, which again, if you look at the percentiles, it's around the 50 percentile, uh, for what I, I measured here. Again, I'm not super concerned about those numbers, as, uh, especially if 
anybody who knows Dave Feldman and, and some of his work, I'm not super concerned there. What's interesting uh, here is my LPIR score, which is uh, insulin resistance markers score. I'm at less than 25, which puts me in the lowest score for LPIR. So that's pretty good. Um, year analysis, I'm not real concerned about much here. I, was, I showed ketones in my urine. Well, surprise, I've been eating this way for 18 years. Uh, it's going to show up. Uh, if I scroll down here, you're going to see like my thyroid markers, TSH, T4, T3 are all pretty normal. Testosterone, 702, which is great for my age. Um, free testosterone, 25, which is also, again, really good uh, at 52 year, 51 years old. Uh, get ahead of myself here. Uh, now you're going to see where my issues lie, and that is, you know, my C-reactive protein, which, you know, 0 to 3 is what you want. I was 114. So lots of inflammation going on. I, I've known this for, you know, the years that I've been trying to deal with the chronic Lyme disease and then the resulting issues that have come from that. Uh, I'm still working on, uh, right now I'm in a uh, SERS protocol, uh, trying to detox and, and reduce my heavy metals, reduce my mold issues. Uh, I've got history of mold issues um, and all the inflammation that's resulting from that. Um, but that's where I was at, you know, as far as this test goes. Uh, so let's, that's my labs. I mean, it, I'm pretty happy with those, especially given my, given my health condition situations. Um, but there is some progress and this is some, uh, recent progress for me. Uh, these are labs, uh, end of last year. Um, this is my lead. It's in range. My arsenic, you saw it was 25. It's down below 1. I was able to take care of my mercury as well. Um, so I brought my heavy metals way down. Um, and I've also gotten my most recent uh, labs from, a, I don't have them on here, but from about um, a month and a half ago, or two months ago, my CRP was at 0.8. So I'm really excited about that. I, I think the SERS protocol and the things I'm doing is definitely reducing my inflammation. Um, and I'm seeing heavy metals come down. I'm seeing things come back into range. And hopefully the inflammation in my body will continue to calm down. You know, I still have to eat a carnivore, pretty strict carnivore diet to keep my inflammation in check. Uh, my joint pain goes up pretty significantly if I don't. Um, but I think... The diet, uh, the things I'm doing with the uh, SERS protocols and, and detoxing uh, heavy metals and mold are definitely moving the markers in the right direction. But uh, I'm also pretty happy with, you know, overall what my health markers look like from cholesterol to glucose to insulin. Uh, you know, these, uh, my testosterone, thyroid, everything is looking great and working great with uh, 18 years on this lifestyle. So I think this is a, a pretty good example of what, you know, this lifestyle can look like uh, long term as far as blood markers go. So that's my data and uh, I encourage others to share theirs as well, but this is what my blood uh, labs look like. If you want to change your life like I've changed mine with food, I would be honored to help you. Many of you don't know that I was twice my size. I had acid reflux. I had PCOS, which is polycystic ovarian syndrome. I had depression. I had IBS, which is irritable bowel syndrome. And food changed my life. And not only did that happen, I get to eat good food, right? Good food. So if you wanna eat good food, have perfected meal plans made by me and personal help with supplements or modifications, if you have Hashimoto's, if you have uh, Graves, if you have IBS, if you have PCOS, contact me. I would be honored to help you. Um, you can go to keto-adapted.com and find a lot of different options there for personalized help or message me uh, by commenting below on this YouTube video 
or you can check me out at mariamindbodyhealth.com. Mahalo.